So in this video, we're going to look at some procedural 3D generation in Houdini and also in later stages, the pivot painting tools. So in this video, I will mainly go around making the tree because you will actually find all the tutorials made by this where I actually made multiple tree version with these tools. So if you want to deep dive into procedural trees, I can recommend you checking out those other videos where it's much more in depth on how to use these tools. Now let's get started to create a basic tree. So first of all, we need to have a geometry network. So I'm just going to type in geometry. So we're going to open our geometry network and we're going to type in a tree. So here we can see our three options. So here we have the labs three tools. So we're going to start by making a trunk. So of course, every tree starts from a trunk shape. As you can see here, this is our starting point. So from here, we can, for example, change the length. Like you can make it smaller, make it bigger. You can play around with the radius so on. What we want to do now is to actually make branches. So we can just type in make branches and we're going to say uh, generating branches. This will also here plug in in the inputs here and it will now create these type of branches. At this stage, what is also being useful is actually building a controller. So you can see that we can, if we type controller, we can have a tree controller. This is quite useful to, for example, quickly lower the topology or quickly add variation. So the controller here will plug in in this uh, option here. So in this, uh, so in this input, and you can see that this is already like overriding some of the values. Um, so for example, I can see that I have a quite high poly count in the controller. We can go to resolution, and we can here have options to add more or less resolution. So in this case, I'm going to start uh, for adding less resolution. So I'm going to just make it quite low poly for now, since this is also for a game engine, so we don't need that high amount of polygons. Uh, we can also choose the meshing type, uh, which is how the branches are attaching to the trunk. So right now it's doing actually a Boolean, but we can also just say doing normal blending. So this will just blend the normals together. So from a distance, you will see that they will nicely just blend based on normal values. There are other values uh, you can play around with. Like I said, you can quickly do a randomization here to get variation. But for now, let's just jump back into our first branches here. And with that branches, I want to change the angle. I want to angle the branches more upwards. So I'm here, I'm going to just crank this up to 90. And also this uh, ramp here is also defining the angle. So as you can see, I can now move up the branches a bit more in that direction. Once we are sort of like happy with that result, we can just do another branching generator step. So I can plug that in over here and it will then generate multiple new branches. They're looking pretty good. Maybe, for example, we can say that they may be too large. So we can go to length here and we can, for example, make them somewhat smaller. We can also again do the same thing like with the angles. We can play around with that. And we can again do another branching step. You can do as many as, as you want, but of course you're adding more and more uh, poly counts to that. So here is another one. So we're adding those smaller branches. And again, I might want to play around with the angle a bit more and also with the size here. So they're not that large. So this is, for example, then my base tree. And now we want to then also scatter around some leaves. So if you type in leaf, you should be able to see a leaf generator and a simple leaf. So if you grab simple leaf, it will make like a template for a leaf shape. And we can now, with the other tool, so if I type in leaf again, we can use the generator to scatter that on the tree. So if you plug in the inputs here, we could plug in then our leaf into here. And you will see that we are now scattering around those leaves. So we can quickly make a very basic tree. Of course, we're not limited to using this. If you want to build something custom, then we can just plug in something custom. Uh, if you want to have like your own grid or atlas of leaves, you can do that. You can do that by making them. So for example, make them and you can just plug them in. So probably they are scaled too large. Um, but yeah, you get the idea that you can plug in custom leaf cards. Uh, so that's definitely the idea, especially again, if you're making this for a game project, then you probably want to make something custom uh, that represents a leaf uh, texture. Go with our simple leaves here. Uh, we can maybe 
maybe play around with the scaling. So maybe let's scale this bit up. Like so. At this stage, I'm going to leave it as this. So we have our basic screen. You can, of course, do a lot more improvements. Uh, like I mentioned also, you can watch also our videos about this, where it's more explained how you can create some more interesting trees. This is like a very basic tree, as you can see. We can always go back to our controller. We can play around with, for example, the seed variation to quickly output different results. And we can also go into resolution, increase resolution, lower resolution, and things like that. So for now, to show off the pivot painting tools, we already have a tree that works and that will also work really well within the pivot painting tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.